Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this simple menu for a cafe. You can use it as a restaurant or you can customize this for some other type of menu. Let's say you work with a dog groomers or a vet just to display prices. The technique will be exactly the same. You just need to fill out different text. So let's start by going to insert table and then I'm just going to click across five columns and all the way down to the end there. And you'll see we've got a table inserted and the cursor's at the top left here. So I'm just gonna press the return key a few times to allow some space at the top here. Now I'm just going to create a central channel for the two columns at the top. So I'm just going to grab that line, just hover over it, click and drag it towards the middle. And again with this one, this line here, I'm going to move over so we've got enough room for the actual menu and then the prices and then the same here. Perfect. I'm going to begin to type, but in the top one here, I'm just going to merge these two cells together. And in order to do that, I just select them both, go to table layout and go to merge cells. And again to the top one here, those top two and merge cells. So just begin to type as normal. Don't worry too much about the text or anything because we'll fully customize it all at the end. You just for now just want to get all of the text in. So I'm going to copy and paste my text in because I'm sure you don't want to see me typing. So as you can see what's happened here is we've got a double line, but it would be good to line everything up at the bottom. So what we can do is just click and drag across two, those two cells there and actually merge them together. So go to table layout again and go to merge cells. And then we're going to merge these two cells as well. Go to merge cells. Perfect. So you can see we haven't got a lot more rows below here. So what we'll need to do is to go up to table layout and we can use these two tools here, which is insert above or below. For the rest of the menu, let me just pull it across. For the rest of the menu, you can see that I don't want these two sets of columns here. I just want one. So it's better for us to make that and customize that row now rather than trying to do it a bit later on. Because when we select this bottom row here and we go to insert below, you'll see that it will copy the same design as I put my cursor in. So what we can do, we can leave this one as a space. And so I'll just go up and merge that whole row there. So that's a space. And then here, I just want to design the row so that we've got one full cell here. So select all of those, merge the cells, and then we've just got this one on the left here for the prices. So now I can just go up to insert below and just keep clicking all the way down to insert the remainder of my menu. So I'm going to create a space here and then my next one down will be breakfast. So I'm going to select that row and merge it as well. And then I'm just going to type in my breakfast. And then I'm just going to paste in some more text. Then I'm going to leave another space. So merging these two cells here, just go to merge. And then I'm going to merge again because I want another title. If you do something like this and you mess up your caps lock just select it all go to the home tab go to this little icon here click on the drop down and select one of these whichever you want i'm just going to select capitalize each word and it will change it for you i'm going to paste in some more text then create another space go to table layout merge cell again merge the next cell down and then finally paste in the rest of that text then what we can do is get rid of these cells at the bottom by selecting them all, then right click, go to delete cells. It will highlight this shift cells left, just click OK, and it will delete those cells. So you can see everything's really jammed together at the moment and quite tight. So we do need to customize this menu. So the first thing we'll do is select the entire table. We'll go to table layout. And then in the height here, we're going to select it and put 0.7 in, press enter. Now that's just allowed all of the text to be spaced out just a little bit more, it makes it a little bit more readable. The next thing, I'm going to create a space between the titles and the rest of the menu. 
So select this row here and go to insert above and again with the full English and above we're just going to create that gap between the title and the rest of the menu. Now if this happens we can go over to our margins so if you can't see your ruler here go to view and make sure rulers are checked then hover between the grey and white section click and move your margins up and move your margins down at the bottom and it will allow you some more space on your page. So I'm just going to move that down a little bit and now let's look at all of these titles. So for the first title at the top here I'm once again going to go to table layout but this time for the titles I'm going to select one centimeter and press enter and then I'm going to put everything aligned to center. Same with this one, select it and then one centimeter press enter and again align to center. So now we're going to select all of our titles. So what you can do is select the first piece of text here, hold down your command and control key and you can select all of the other text. Then you can go up to the top here and you can change your fonts. Obviously you can select any one you like. I'm going to select this one, Avenir, and actually because I've pasted them all in, all the other text here is the same font as this as well. I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to increase the size of it. Then I'm just going to change the colour of it to this sort of dark burnt orange here. Now whilst those are all, all selected as well, go to Table Design, go over to Shading, and now we're going to select the shading for our cell. So just click on this one here and you can see now that we've got all the shading in for all of those cells. But don't forget you can go to any of the colours here and select any of those or you've got a more colours option here where you've got your colour wheel and you can move this little cursor around and select a colour of your choice. So the next thing is just to align all the prices to the right. So select it, go to table layout, align to right, I'm just going to go along and choose that for all of the prices so they line up nicely with the edge of the title. Okay, and now we're going to select the whole table, go to Table Design, go to Borders, click on the drop down and select No Borders. Deselect, check you're happy with the look of it and all your spelling. And now we can just put in a title. So go to Insert text box, draw text box, click and draw out the text box, enter in your text, then I'm just going to select my text, go to home, select my font, go to Avenir, go to bold, increase the font size using this increase font size tool here, again change the font colour to the dark burnt orange, make sure the text is centred, if I deselect this, you can see we've got this black borderline and there is a white background which we want to get rid of. So select it, go to Shape Format, go to the No Outline and then Shape Fill, go to No Fill. Then you can go to Align over here and select Align to Centre and it will centre it to your page. Then go to Insert, Shapes, click on the square, click and draw out a rectangle. Let's just move it across the top of the page and over here we've got the outline again select no outline because there will always be an outline on a shape. Shape fill will select the light pink again but because you can't see the text go over to send backwards click on the drop down and select center back. So I'm just going to move this table down see how far we can move it down before jumping across the page there we go and I'm just going to make this rectangle a little bit bigger and then by selecting this rectangle I can bring it down, a copy of it, down to the bottom. So select that rectangle, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag and it will make a perfect copy. Just pop that down at the bottom. Then if you've got a logo go to Insert, Pictures, Picture from File, select your image, click Insert. When you insert any image into Word then you won't be able to move it. So make sure it's selected, go to wrap text and select in front of text. Make sure graphics format is selected. If it's not there, it's because you haven't selected your logo. 
Then I'm just going to reduce the size of it, move it to the top. Now for this design, I'm just going to copy it across, but of course this will be your logo, so you won't have to worry about this. And then for this one, I'm just going to go to graphics format, rotate, flip horizontally, and then I'm just going to select this one as well. Hold down your command or control key if you want to select multiple objects in your design. Then to the align tool, align to top. Then I'm going to group them together because now they're grouped together, I can actually align them to the center of the page so they're perfectly in the middle. So I want a bit more of a gap up here. So I'm just going to pull down this margin a little bit more and see if when I press the return key, there we go, I can create a bit more of a gap here and then just pull this one up at the bottom. So now you've finished all of this, you can go ahead and save it. You can save this as a Word document, you can just print it out, or you can save it as a PDF. Go to File, go to Save As, and then at the bottom here, you can just about see there's PDF. Just save it as a PDF if you want to save it and send it to a printer's. Or alternatively, you can save this as a template. So if you need to change it, it won't destroy the original copy. So you can go to File, Save as Template. Make sure it's saved in the Templates file here and also here, Microsoft Word Template, and then just click Save. Once you've done that, when you open up your software and go into Templates, you'll see this file is here. But when you make changes, it will ask you to save it as a completely different file so you won't destroy this original one. Perfect, so I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.